Hi, this is Nani from Human Design Tools, and I'm just going to do a short little explainer video about the neutrinos and human design and then kind of how they show up in real life. So what are neutrinos anyway? This is kind of the more scientific side of it. You don't have to know this to understand what I'm talking about in this video, but I'm just going to tell the people who want to know this part. They're just these teeny tiny particles in the universe. They almost have no mass, but there actually is scientific proof that they exist. And they were born from like this really big or fierce astrological event, like something like a exploding star. And they're like all over and incredibly abundant in the universe. And they help play a role in understanding some of the most fundamental questions in physics, and they also play a part in human design and in your real life. So why do we even care? Because the neutrino stream is penetrating from the star field and it's always coming through you. So this inspiration and information from the stars in the universe is always coming through you. So we're all in this neutrino stream and we're being affected by it and we're affecting it. And this is actually how the founder of human design got the information about human design from the neutrino stream. So I'm, of course, not a scientist, but I learned about these. And this is how I understand the neutrinos to work in real life and with human design. So when you're standing, these neutrinos are everywhere. And this neutrino stream is sending in information and inspiration from the energy and the stars, these star particles to all of us, and they come in through our crown. And then it's like you're plugged in to this neutrino stream. And then when you're lying down, it's almost like you can unplug from your crown that direct stream, that direct flow of energy right into your, into your crown becomes unplugged. It becomes deactivated in a sense, because imagine if you were sleeping and you were being inspired all night, of course, the neutrinos are still around us, but it's not just this like direct plug in to the stream. It affects all of us, but in particular, when you have a defined head center and Ajna center, you're constantly streaming in this inspiration. I only bring this up because I have a tip, and this is just for those of you who have a defined head and a defined Ajna. And if you have a defined head, you'll automatically have a defined Ajna. So I could basically just tell you, if you have a defined head, listen to this. So if that head center is colored in on your chart. You will likely meditate easier if you are lying down. And I know that we are told not to lie down when we meditate. And that is true for the majority of the population. But there's one eighth of the population that have a defined head center and because of this neutrino stream, it's easier for you to meditate when you're lying down based on the mechanics of how your head, defined head center works. So how do we all stay aligned while all this is happening? So the neutrino stream is coming in, it's affecting us, we're affecting it, and it's um, just bringing in all this information. Well, the first thing you can do is to lie down horizontal whenever you need a break. You could do this at night uh, when you get home from the day or maybe you're home now and you just get a break at the end of the day but you can even do it during the middle of the day and it's easy to lie down in many different places so you could just do that to take a break and you can also follow your personal human design strategy and using your personal authority and why I say this is because you know this inspirations and information is coming in um, along with different conditioning in the world. And it's telling you to like, you know, it's get, maybe even getting you excited to do many different things, but you need to follow your own strategy in order to find the right things for yourself. If you want to learn more about your personal strategy and your personal authority, you can go on my blog and find out. The link will be in the description. And I hope you got a little nugget of from whatever I shared today. And just remember to let go of what is not yours and just keep boosting what is. See you soon. Bye.